Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be talking about basically how I decided to start a business during quarantine. I know you guys are probably wondering where I am. I am actually in my brother's room back home. I came home for quarantine because I just did not want to stay in Illinois by myself. That was not happening. But before we start this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and comment at the bottom. And let's go. I decided to start a business during quarantine, and it has been crazy. Crazy. So basically, I re erected a business idea I had, and it's called Case Stand. So basically, when I decided to start this maybe a year, year and a half ago, I was planning on just creating random cases or like selling cases that other people had created um, from like wholesale. And it was a good idea at first, but I just felt like there was, it was more of like a short term idea instead of a long term idea. And usually when people have short term ideas, what happens to them, they get canceled. So basically, the missed planning of it led to its ending. I wasn't planning for it. I wasn't making good decisions for it. I wasn't really coming up with like a foundation for it. I was just skipping steps and going with it, which is a reoccurring theme in my life that I am working through. So basically, I... So basically, I took the idea and went back to square one. So Square One was deciding what exactly this was going to be. And I've always had an obsession with lifestyle brands, like accessory lifestyle brands, and how they basically indulge their products into culture. I thought to myself, what is going to make this different? What is going to make this stand out from anything else that's going on? Even if it simulate like it, it replicates something but what is that little that makes it different so I just thought to myself well what do I personally like love to do I love to share stories I love to storytell I love to help people advance their ideas in their lives by my influence duh that's why I do YouTube so I was like how do I create that without it just being personally like about me because I didn't want it to all be about me so I thought to myself, well, why not create accessories inspired by other people's stories and allow other people and create a platform for them to share to people that they normally would not be able to share to and also give them something tangible that they can bring into life and that other people can bring into life and then create their own stories with. That was the concept. So I was like, OK, that's really complex. So I called my friends and I would ask them, like, give them what my idea was, give them the example of like exactly what was I thinking. And some of them, well, most of them all said it was a great idea. But, you know, like when you tell people ideas, sometimes they listen and then they tell you it's great because they're your friend and they want to be nice. So I was just like, OK, I need a non-biased opinion so i started just going on instagram and just going down all my friends like to people that you know you have those friends that aren't really your friends but you have them as friends on instagram so i went down that list sent some stuff and asked people for their opinion and most people said they understood what it was but they would have to see it come to life which was good a great idea so i thought to myself let's make the investment and let's do it so i decided that my first collection would be based on my stories of something that I find very interesting which is the concept of Sunday brunch and how Sunday brunch wherever you go it is different. In Chicago Sunday brunch I feel like it's more circled around alcohol and when I went to brunch I go to brunch for food which might is obvious. So that's basically what the first collection is. It's cases inspired by those different stories and I finally got the guts to just design. So I designed some stuff and I went through the first round. I liked some of it and I sent for samples for this company that I thought I was gonna like, but I didn't like. So then those samples went into the trash can and I also ordered the wrong size for my phone, which I don't think I did. I think they just sent me the wrong size, but who cares? That's the best. 
then I came up with another set of samples thinking about like how would other people be able to put this into their lives like not making everything so literal so I started doing a lot of research started looking for manufacturers started doing some um product research sending some graphics to my friends and just posting on like random Facebook groups seeing what people really thought and it came back and I had some very interesting responses some of them I did like take and tweak and some of them I you know just put them on the list of things that people thought I did a lot of YouTube research on how to market, how to use Facebook ads and Instagram ads, packaging. But I'm going to say a lot of the things that I learned that helped me through this was things that I learned on TikTok. If you want to learn things on TikTok, you should just do hashtag small business check. There are so many people on TikTok who have small businesses who are either giving advice or telling you where they um, get their packaging from. I got all my packaging based on things that I have saw on TikTok. All these people, you know, are starting their businesses from scratch or have small businesses or just have e-commerce and they are willing to help you. They're willing to give out information that normally people would not give out. Before, when I was thinking about starting a business and did not have any idea, I felt like I was looking for resources, but I was never finding the right resources for me personally with my budget, my like just, just for me. And I feel like on TikTok, there are so many young people, like young, young, 15, 13 year olds starting businesses and getting this information from their peers and creating awesome and amazing things, which is amazing. So if you do have a small business and you want more information on how to like grow your business and how to like get packaging and different ideas, go to TikTok and do hashtag small business check. You will not regret it. I swear it is amazing. And so after doing a lot of research and finally finding a manufacturer that I felt like was reasonable with um, how much they charge and their uh, just like their reviews and stuff like that, I finally ordered my first round of samples of the final designs and they came out well. So these are actually the first draft finals. These are not the final finals because I don't own the final finals uh for myself i've shipped out some of the finals to people but i don't own any finals yet so i'll show you guys the cases so this is one of them and you see how they have like the logo at the bottom i got rid of the logo but here's one this is blueberry and banana this one is rose all day this one is black out. This one is brunch at sea. And then oh, this last one is my favorite one because I have cheetah. This one is my favorite, my brunch shirt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so these are it. They actually, the website is live as of right now, but a sales officially start tomorrow which is friday and my overall goal is to sell possibly between 10 and 15 cases between tomorrow and june 1st because june 1st i have a whole new collection coming out planning for the future uh the next collection is going to be a little bit different i'm implicating another product into the line i know a lot of people if you follow me on social media which you should the um i've been posting a lot of illustrative graphics that i've been creating lately and i'm planning on releasing some shirts for this collection we do have a shirt i actually have it on right now um i guess it's gonna be on the site i'm not sure i have today to make that decision and i have not made it yet because i don't know what i want to do but the goal is for this this time period between the 15th and the 1st of june is to sell 10 to 15 cases i've already sold one so i need 14 more so i'm not expecting a lot of people to purchase i'm just i'm just wanting to learn from this first experience of releasing a collection to figure out exactly what worked what didn't work um i do have a few influencers we call them stay ambassadors um who are 
going to be working on pushing out product also i want to see if the method that we're using for them is working i want to see what what do i need on my team to help me succeed also so to see what cracks and what fills that i'm i'm lacking in this first 15 16 days if you guys want to check it out it's called casestand.com i'll put it in the bio below it it's a very nice website i actually designed the website all by myself uh the product pictures were all taken with my iphone any picture that you see on social media uh that has the product in it was taken with this iphone which is amazing shout out to all the tiktokers who showed how to create product photos i had to utilize all of the things that i had here to create those things and i'm proud of myself i'm proud that I got it done. I'm proud that this site exists, that these products exist, that I put my work into it. And to be honest, like I want people to buy it, but it really doesn't matter if people buy it in the sense of like the idea of that's not going to feel rewarding to me. What feels rewarding is that I put all this work in and I created something and it looks good and it works and it's efficient. And I never thought that I would be able to do this and that's crazy to me that I would be able to create something like this something that I actually like something that's not like cheap something that's not not like I don't know it's like it's legit and I'm proud like I'm so proud of myself I am excited I am excited and I am excited and I am excited and I will come back to you guys with more videos. Maybe I'll do videos on like how I found some of this stuff or whatever. I don't know. Do you guys tell me what you guys want to see about this, like, this journey? Because I have no problem sharing this journey. I feel like there's not enough people on YouTube who are really like showing how they got to these certain points. Like I feel like people are really being very selfish with this information and that's crazy to me because I feel like to me personally, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's not the hardest thing in the world to start it. it. As you get like more and more and more, I can see it becoming very complicated, which is fine. You grow, you learn, you you see different things. things. And I personally feel like people are not helping people in this realm. It's like having to to just i don't even get it i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand but i want to help other people so if people have questions or want to know anything i don't care i'll tell you i really don't care right now so <laughs> so <laughs> if you need anything comment in the comments and let's get this cracking and if you guys want to see the product or whatever the link will be in the bio you can check it out you can subscribe to our newsletter do whatever you want. Follow us on Instagram. Do whatever you want. And until next time, guys. Bye.